and thanks again for joining us at Pinellas County Hippie Helps. Today we're going to show you how to um, do this pretty little hair for it. it. This one has a clamp on it. We purchased the clamps um, from Joanne's Fabric. You get about six in a package for a dollar. So again, you get about six of these in a package for a dollar. What we did on this one, we did a really pretty florette design and we have a ribbon at the base and if you saw some of our previous videos, this coordinates with the tutu and the shirt we showed you in a coordinating video. So we're going to show you today how to make a really pretty barrette. What you'll need to get started with this barrette is you'll need the clamp, you'll need needle and thread, you'll need your ribbon, and you will also need your netting. Um, an easy way to cut your netting is to take the bottom, if you have this type of round circle on holding your netting, you can take that take a marker, draw the circle, then cut it out. But I did something a little different. I just folded mine in half and I just cut the edges out to make a round. That's a round edge. And I did the same thing with the other side. And it gives you little circles when you're done with that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your circle, you're going to pinch it in the middle, and it will give, give you a little florette. You're going to take a, your, your another piece, you're going to pinch it in the middle, and you're just going to keep layering. I'll do several beats so you can get the idea of how to do it. So the more you do, the bigger it will get. You're going to take your ribbon, pinch it in the middle, and go up. And you're going to continue to do that. Once you get it to your desired um, size, you're going to take your needle and thread. You should have like a little knot here, um, the tip of them, the, what you was holding together. And you're going to take your needle and your thread. And you're just going to take your needle and your thread and you're going to stitch it through I usually go in several different angles that way you know it's going to be snug so I usually put it through at least six seven times that way I'm not missing any of the netting. And then once you're done, you'll cut and you'll tie a knot. So that's your florette when you're done. What you're going to do when you get to that point, just to shape it up, you're going to gather it all together. When you gather it all together, you're just going to cut all of the extra pieces off to make it even. And that gives you your florette at 
the top. That's what we have here. In order to create the bow, you're going to take ribbon of your choice of color and you're going to uh, pinch the end of the ribbon, put it to your specifications of how big you want the ribbon, and you're going to pinch the middle. Once you get to that point, so I pinched and then I pinched the middle. And so that gave me one loop. And then you will continue to do that. And we did that four times. So it was twice on each side. And that gave us our bow. Then we cut this off, cut a piece of this ribbon, tied it, tied the middle to secure it and make it stay. And that's our bow. We took uh, some glue, and this is called fabric adhesive um, permanent glue. And we also got this from Michael's or Joann's. And you take your glue and you put a bead of glue on your barrette. You'll take your ribbon attach it. You'll let it sit for a few seconds, holding it with your finger just to make sure it's secure. And then you'll take, a, I took hot glue to glue the florette down. I put a bead of hot glue on the florette, but you can also use this fabric adhesive. But if you use hot glue, it dries a little quicker. And so then you'll take your florette, place it in the middle, and that will give you your barrette. You can also do these on headbands. You can do them on the little scrunchies. Um, so you can do a variety of different um, designs for your barrette. So again, this is the finished product. You can see it's very secure. And it will go with the coordinating tutu and the skirt that we showed you in a previous video. Thank you for tuning in to Pinellas County Hippie Helps, and please join us for future videos.